Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to root some Chinese phones, mainly the Cubot H1 that I've had for quite a while, kind of disappointed that I couldn't root it. Um, this inspiration for this video was a video by David Bennett where he was showing how to root multiple Android phones. Unfortunately, he was using Kingroot, something I've used in the past, and no, I'd not just straight up steal this idea from him. I tried it in the past and it just didn't work on my phone and also doesn't work on a bunch of other Chinese phones. A comment pointed out that the reason why it doesn't work on many phones is because they have a locked bootloader. So I was actually able to find out how to unlock the bootloader on some Chinese phones so you can actually root phones that normally couldn't be rooted. This won't work on all Chinese phones, but hopefully it will work on yours. And it does work on the Cubot H1 using the latest software version that was just updated a couple weeks ago. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure that you actually have developer options turned on. It's pretty simple. Just go to settings. Then you go to about phone. And then just tap on your build number about 12 times. It will tell you that you're a developer once you type in enough times. It will flash a little message. Then just simply back out and you'll see a new option called developer options. Go ahead and go in there. And the first thing you'll probably want to turn on is USB debugging. So you may need that for other processes. But the main thing you need to turn on is you need to scroll down a little bit until you find OEM unlock. OEM unlocking is what lets you unlock your bootloader so your phone can be rooted. It will probably void your warranty, but uh, whatever. Once you have that enabled, you want to go back and go to security settings. From security settings, you want to find an option that says allow unknown sources or just unknown sources. Make sure you have that checked. And once you have those two things set up, you should be good to go. So next thing we're going to do is open up your favorite browser and go to kingroot.net. Make sure your phone's in the portrait position or just being held like normal, not sideways. And then once you go to kingroot.net, just scroll down and you should see a button that lets you download the application. If you're using Google Chrome, you'll probably see a warning like this. Just go ahead and click this button on the screen you see right here. And then you can click um, proceed to site anyway. And then you'll be good to go. Once it's done downloading, just go ahead and install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. All right, and go ahead and start it up. Since I've already rooted and I can't really figure out how to unroot just yet, uh, you'll see a button around here that just says root. So just go ahead and click on that or say like a root strategy. Um, you'll, you know, I'll ask you if you want to try it. So just go ahead and click on that. And then just wait a few minutes and it should have your phone rooted. So that's all you'll need to really do when you're actually rooted now. Although I highly suggest that you install something like Super User or Super, or Super Sue which is a really good manager. I'll have a link in the description of how to replace King Root if you don't trust King Root to have it on your device at all times. I'll have a link of how to uninstall King Root and install Super C, which is way better. Uh, definitely worth checking out, and I'm really happy that I finally got this phone rooted, so I hope this helped you guys out. Um, definitely, if you want to see more Android stuff or technology stuff, check out Dave Bennett's channel. Unfortunately, his video wasn't able to help me, but he'll pro he has a bunch of other cool stuff, so I suggest checking that out. All right, and I also want to thank the um, commenter who I showed before for pointing out the fact that the problem was the bootloader. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.